Finally, let's say if we gave you 16x squared minus 25y squared. Likewise, you check for your what? Common factor. Always go through your steps. You do not have a common factor here because 25 and 16 do not have anything in common. Your GCF there. So what we're going to do is what? Two sets of what? Parentheses. And you check and see if these are perfect squares. What makes 16 a perfect square? Well, if you look at the list, 16 equates to what? 4 times what? 4. And we know that 25, as we mentioned earlier, is what? 5 times 5. So both of these are what? Perfect squares. I'm going to separate. You have 4x and what? 4x. And your 25 becomes what? 5y and 5y. So when we combine those things, we will get what? 4x minus 5y, if you apply the rule. And then here we're going to get 4x plus 5y. One being negative, one being what? Positive. Okay? So this is what we are referring to as the difference of two squares. Okay? Now, let's continue with trinomials. <coughs> trinomials, we have two of them. One being positive and also one being what? Negative in the middle. This is a perfect square and this is also a perfect square. So when you factor these things, you should get two sets of what? Parentheses. Again, what makes a square a perfect square? A times what? A. And also we have b square as a perfect square. And that is b times b. Both of these are what? Positive because everything there is what? Positive. And you can multiply using the four method again to check it out. The a times a will give us what? a squared. a times b will give us ab. And if you go inner, this will b times a will be what? ab. And then we have your outer, which will make it um, b squared. These are like terms, and everything is positive. We have 1AB plus 1AB, that would give us what? 2AB. And we bring down your what? B square as well as your A square. So as you see, if you multiply, you, you will have your original um, problem. Likewise for number three, we will have what? Two sets of what? Parentheses. But you notice here that the middle term is what? Negative. But if you look, negative times negative will give us what? Positive. So again, you separate. A squared will be what? A times A. And the B squared, in this case, will be a negative B times a negative B. Why are we using negative? Because the middle term is what? Negative. So when you combine those two things, you do get that negative 2AB. So again, we separate. A being your first position, and your B being in your second position. Okay, so that means that what we're going to have here is what? A minus B times what? A minus B. If we multiply, you should get the original. Now, you note that both of these are what? The same. So we can also express this as A minus B raised to the second power. Okay, uh, we normally would do that. <coughs> Finally, if I gave you X squared minus 4X plus 4, and actually to factor. First of all, you check for that common factor. You never go away from those steps, <laughs> okay? Now, uh, since we don't have a common factor, we have what? The second step that we have, what? Two sets of what? Parentheses. And then you factor the first term. Always look for that com, And that will give us what? X times what? X. And your 4. Now, 4 has two sets of factors. We have 4 times 1, and we also have, what, 2 times 2. As I mentioned to you before, you always want to try to get the one that's socially related. In this case, that is, what, 2 and, what, 2. We also note that 2 plus 2 is equal to, what, 4 in the middle. Okay? So that means that what we're going to do is use both negative. Why are we using negative? Because the middle term is, what, negative. Okay? So obviously that goes hand in hand. So you see also that you have what? Both of these being what? The same? So we all want to write this thing as what? X minus 2 raised to the what? Second power. Okay? So this is what we will have in this situation. Last but not least, <coughs> 
let's give the example of 36 minus 12 x plus x squared. You might notice that this is in the asking the order. That means that your uh, exponents go up. We have what, zero, we have one, and we have what, two. If you want to make it easier for you, we can what, rotate this, okay? That's just using a little common sense. And you note that this is the same as this, but this is in my decent order, and this is in ascending order, okay? Now this looks a whole lot better, and it also equates to what we have been working with before. So we're gonna keep it like that. Now, we do not have a common factor, but we check the first and the last term, they are perfect squares. What makes x squared a perfect square? I know it's gonna be what, x times what, x. And 36, I know for sure it's a perfect square, and that would be what, six times six. So that's what we're gonna put on the latter part. Now, the middle term is negative, so we must get that. So in order for that to be what, negative, both of these has to be what, negative. Keep in mind, a negative six and a negative six would give us what? A negative 12. Now, both of these are the same as well. So that means that we're gonna write this thing as what, x minus six raised to the what, second power, okay? So this will be our factorization using special product.